खाना कावा ये पुकारा मिलके लगाओ सभी है दरी नारा बिस्मिल्लाम In the previous lectures, we discussed how the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam, as he realized that a number of Sahaba have formed rows of congregational prayers, as he was praying his nawafil salat, he sat down, and then the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam addressed that group of Sahaba and asked them, and to, at first told them that he was. Uh, that he is aware of what they have done and then told them to pray at their homes. And this amounts to expel them from masjid. However, my opponent community might aver that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not expel them from the masjid. Rather, he pointed out that praying at one's home is of more reward than praying at the masjid. An answer to this uh, assertion is in order. The uh, narration of Bukhari that uh, would pertain to this matter, and I had read it, this narration to you previously, is the following narration. This is Bukhari, published by Kitab Bhavan, New Delhi, India, 9 volume Bukhari, volume 1, page 391. Rather, page 392, I have seen and understood what you did, you should pray in your houses. For the best prayer of a person is that which he prays in his house, except the compulsory prayers. Therefore, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, their assertion would go, did not expel them from the masjid. Rather, he reminded them that praying in one's home is of greater reward than praying in the masjid. And... To characterize this as expulsion from masjid is a misstatement and a lie and uh, would amount to misleading the audience. What would be my answer to this criticism? Uh, first of all, if this were, were true, that praying in one's home is of a greater reward than praying at the masjid, we would ask why the Nabi wasallam himself was praying at the mosque. Why was he uh, praying inside the mosque while he had erected for himself an enclosure and he was performing prayers there? If it was of greater reward, he sh he's of obvious he is the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. He is the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And he is the messenger of Allah. And he has brought the Sharia. And he knows his sunnah better than any other person. And if indeed it was the case that praying at home is of greater reward than praying at masjid, and we, we are talking about uh, nawafil or recommended prayers, then why the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself wouldn't be a good, uh, wouldn't become a better example of not performing recommended prayers at the mosque and rather performing such prayers at home. It sounds rather suspicious that, that at the occasion that these sahaba are expelled from masjid, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is attributed to with such a statement that praying at home is better than praying at the mosque while he himself is praying at the mosque. That's number one, that the opponent community are, uh, need to uh, address and uh, need to reply. Second, if indeed this were the case, that praying at the mosque is of lesser reward when one is performing recommended prayers, than praying at home, then this matter is a, the, a thing that would happen frequently because praying at mosque, praying in the house, praying at home, praying at mosque is something that would happen quite frequently. And wisdom indicates that such a matter that is of common practice, that is of common uh, involvement with, with the lives of Muslims, such a matter would have other ahadith as well. We demand the opponent faction to please bring forth another hadith. Just the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has averred that praying at mosque is of lesser uh, reward than praying at one's home when we are talking about recommended prayers. Why only on this occasion only when he, when he has humiliated a number of sahaba by 
sitting down in the middle of their jama'ah by refusing to be to being part of their jama'ah and then addressing them as I know what you have done and then it will come inshallah tabaraka wa ta'ala the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam expresses his anger and anguish with them uh, explicitly in the hadith of Zayd ibn Arqam another version thereof I will show it to you why on such an occasion the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam when he has humiliated these sahaba only on this occasion the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said uh, such a uh, statement that praying at home is of greater value, greater reward than praying at the mosque. Obviously, we're talking about recommended prayers. So why not? Ha we, we don't have another hadith of the same meaning, of the same notion that, has hap uh, that he has stated that hadith on another occasion. Considering that this matter of praying at home or praying at masjid is something that involves the, the daily uh, practice of Muslims, that he occasions would have risen, obviously that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would have had to remind other ordinary Muslims that they should pray in their homes, their, perform their recommended prayers in their homes because it's of greater value, it's better, it's superior to praying at the masjid. And another uh, matter that I'd like to add on this occasion is that this matter that praying at the masjid is of lesser value than praying at one's home goes against the hadith of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that has been narrated in Bukhari and Muslim and other books of, uh, of uh, the opponent congregation. Please pay attention to this hadith. This is the book of Bukhari, volume number two, published by Kitam Bhavan of New Delhi uh, and translated by Dr. Muhammad Muhsin Khan. Page number 158 or rather 157 Babu Fadl Salah fi Masjid Makkah wal Madina page number 157 this is the uh, chapter the superiority of offering the prayer in the mosque of Mecca and Medina the hadith number 200 and uh, 82, hadith number 282. On the authority of Abi Huraira, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam says, Salatun fi masjidi hadha khayrun min alfi salatin fi ma siwahu. One prayer, one prayer, and this mosque of mine, which is the mosque of Medina, Khayrun is superior, is better to 1,000 prayers fi ma siwahu in other, in other, than other places. Illa al-Masjid al-Haram except for the sacred mosque of the Makkah. Therefore, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says the praying, uh, offering uh, one prayer and he does not specify exclusively the obligatory compulsory prayers, but rather prayers. And such a term obviously encompasses all kinds of prayers, be, the, be it a compulsory or be it um, um, recommended. One prayer in this mosque of mine is superior to 1,000 prayers in other places, except the mosque of Mecca. Let's look at the translation of Dr. Muhammad Mohsen Khan. Narrated Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger وسلم, said, One prayer in my mosque is better than 1,000 prayers in any other. He says mosque, except, but there is no fi ma siwahu. It's in the hadith, it, it doesn't say uh, com, it, uh, my 1, 000, uh, one prayer in my masjid is better than 1,000 prayers in other than other places than others it does not specifically mention the mosques than any other mosque excepting masjid al-haram the term here mosque fi ma siwahu fi ma siwahu the the nabi sallallahu alayhi wa did not say fi ma siwahu min al-masajid 
performing one prayer. My, my mosque is superior to performing 1,000 prayers in other mosques. He did not say that. The translation of Dr. Muhammad Mohsin Khan is a rather inaccurate, slide inaccurate, slightly inaccurate. The uh, hadith of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam states that uh, performing one prayer at my mosque is superior to 1,000 prayers performing in other, uh, other places except the Masjid of Medina. Therefore, the hadith that we have on the occasion of expulsion of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of Sahaba from his mosque, that praying at one's home is better than praying the masjid, and especially the masjid of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes against the very hadith that Bukhari has narrated in his book on the authority of Abu Huraira that praying at the masjid of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is superior to 1,000 prayers in other places. Uh, and that's not the only hadith that reflects the superiority and the noble qualities of the a mosque of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam situated in Medina al-Munawwara. Let me go over a few uh, a hadith here. This is the book of Bukhari, volume number two, published by uh, Bavan Kitab that I showed you moments ago. Page 157, same chapter, hadith number 281. Abu Huraira narrates from the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, لا تشد الرحال إلا إلى ثلاثة مساجد. One does not embark on a, on a passage, on a course of a, a voyage, except to three mosques, المسجد الحرام ومسجد الرسول صلى الله عليه wa آله وسلم ومسجد الأقصى. One does not make a journey. Uh, it's not worthy to, to, to embark on a journey except to three mosques, Masjid al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, Masjid, al uh, Masjid al-Haram, and Masjid al-Aqsa, the farther mosque, the mosque in, um, in, um, in Palestine. Uh, translation of Dr. Muhammad Mohsen Khan. Do not set out on a journey except for uh, three mosques. Masjid al-Haram, Masjid al-Aqsa, Masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and Masjid al-Aqsa, Mosque of Jerusalem. And also, when uh, it's worthy to mention when Ibn Taymiyyah had, in, in his books, he mentions that it's not recommended to uh, go for the ziyarah of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, to perform a visitation, a pilgrimage to the tomb of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a number of his contemporaries and later on other scholars have reminded him of this hadith of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his, um, in his, in the books of hadith. Then there's a chapter of Masjid al-Quba. This chapter there he mentions that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to visit Masjid al-Quba every Monday and perform their two rak'ah, recommended prayers, and then go back. Any number of prayers you would see here. Wakbali. Kana nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya'ti Masjid al-Quba kulla sabtin mashiyan wa raqiba. The nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would come every uh, Saturday to Masjid al-Quba either riding or eating, either walking. Another hadith, hadith 285. Let me read to you the English. The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to go to the mosque of Quba, sometimes walking and sometimes riding. Added Nafi in another narration, Nafi' in another narration. He then would offer two rak'ah in the masjid of Quba. Babu Fasl Bain al Qabri wal Mimbar, the superiority of, of the place between the pulpit and the grave of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hadith number 286. Between my house and the pulpit, there is a garden from amongst the gardens of paradise. And then the hadith, the next hadith also, Ma Bain Abayti wa Mimbari, Rawdatum min Riyadh al Jannah, is a, is a place in paradise. 
And then in the book of Bukhari, please pay attention to this hadith, volume number four, Kitab Bavan. page 309, this chapter is Babu Maja'a Wa Annaha chapter, what is said regarding paradise and the fact that it's already been created. Okay. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, hadith number 473. Mawdi'u sawtin fil jannati khayrun min dunya wa ma fiha. A place in paradise equal to the size of a lash is better than the whole world and whatever is in it. Therefore, the, to assert that it is better to pray at one's home than to pray at the mosque of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam if it were indeed a valid hadith and not a fake hadith that was made up later in order to save faces of those Muslims, those Sahaba who were expelled by the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after being humiliated as the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam refused to be part of their congregational prayers and the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sat down and kept sitting down in the midst of their congregational prayers. Uh, if indeed such hadiths were true, it should have been said on other occasions and if it were true, then how would you justify these ahadith? That the mosque of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the area between his member and his house, or his member, his member, his pulpit, and his tomb, his grave, is, a, is a, one of the gardens of paradise. And that the praying at the mosque of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is superior to praying, to, uh, to praying 1,000 prayers in other places. One may say that from uh, the uh, opposing uh, community of Muslims may assert that we have narration that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has indeed on other occasion has mentioned that one should pray at his home rather than the mosque. And that would be uh, the narration of volume number two of Bukhari, uh, volume two of Bukhari, published by book uh, Bavan, page number 156. Page 156, Babu Tatawa'i fil the to pray Nawafil at home. عن نافع عن ابن عمر قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم اجعلوا في بيوتكم من صلاتكم ولا تتخذوها قبورا uh, Offer some, pray, some of your prayers in your houses and do not make them graves because a grave is a place that's, that one does not perform prayers inside the grave. Therefore, if you a house where no prayers are performed, it would seem it would be similar to a grave as being dark, as being devoid of the dhikr of Allah, remembrance of, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and as being devoid of prayers of salah. So do not make your houses uh, a, a place of uh, great uh, horror, a place of uh, dark and devoid of Allah's dhikr. Uh, perform some prayers in your homes. What does it say? Offer some of your prayers in your house. Very good translation. Perform some of your prayers in your homes. That is acceptable. However, that is not uh, what we were demanding the opposing faction to produce. This hadith does not state that performing salah at home is superior to performing salah at the mosque. This hadith is saying that some of your prayers, you should perform and perform them at their homes. And it doesn't even mention that some of these prayers that you should perform at your houses should be uh, obligatory prayers. It, it's some of your prayers, it could be obligatory prayers or it could be recommended prayers. Your homes should not be devoid of prayers. So your kids, so your woman, so your family will learn from you. And also, if you don't have kids, you don't have any woman at your house, anybody else at your house, your houses would not be devoid 
of the dhikr of Allah, of the illumination that comes with prayers, with supplication, with remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, the suspicion is very strong and evidence is transcendent that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as he humiliated those Sahaba and asked them to pray in their homes, this was not because praying at home is superior to praying at the masjid, but because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, intended to expel them from the masjid, and indeed he did so. Thank you so much for watching. May Allah bless you all. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad ya Ali Mada.